previously on OMG, we bought a house. Just close your eyes, picture this. Small spaces are always a challenge and we wanted this tiny living room to look as big as possible. And this is what it looked like before when we moved in. Ew. You saw us gut it down to the studs and how we changed up the whole floor plan. It's gonna be island, cozy, dining area is gonna be out in the lanai. You don't think couches on the lanai? They said picture this, not argue with this. <laughs> so much going on here. Everything is arriving. The giant windows and doors are arriving. The biggest thing that we did in here was create architectural interest with some faux beams. Are you sandblasted and obsessed? It does look really cool. That we hand stained to look like old pieces of driftwood, giving the space so much character and making the ceiling look so much higher than it really is. We revealed the kitchen in the last video, which if you haven't seen, go check that out. So come with us today as we put some living into this living room. Are you ready for a sad story? No, I'll tell you a sad story when we bring them in. And show you how we're bringing this petite room to its highest potential. Storage cabinets can be super deep. <laughs> <laughs> for a family of adults and kids to use in an epic reveal. Style this room. Oh, make it look help, good. Help me, <laughs> Wait, please, Joey. <laughs> All right, so, so what is the plan in here, though? Plan in here, small space, yeah. right? We want a nice big rug to really ground our conversation area. We need storage, small space living for a family. We love to have like a big coffee table where we can like do games, projects, eat off of it. We also don't have the dining room in here because we have the kitchen island with stools and then the coffee table and then our dining table is on the lanai. So one of our nice small space living, Mr. Cute Sofas, the Tess Sofa, which has this gorgeous green color that to me, just being able to put the green sofa in front of the window where you see so much gorgeous natural greenery outside and bring it in, plus the green sconces that I painted. Yeah. Um, and then I think we bring in some cabinets for storage, toy storage, like just all the things that you know are gonna be in here, but then we want to be able to put them away. Like, I feel like that's so key with a small space is having a place for everything. This is conversation area, a couple chairs, um, some side tables, and then a piece of artwork here, which I am gonna talk to you about. Wait, artwork, not TV? No, I mean, obviously this is TV ready, but we don't, we don't watch TV. Why did we put a TV plug there? Because it's a flexible space. If once we, live in here and we want to put a tv we can we have right. the option but in the meantime i'm gonna cover it with artwork i'm so excited that we are basically almost done with this space i know Shoot, let's roll out the rug it's a jute checker rug jute is so easy to clean just has that natural texture so good for playing with kids because it's gonna be a Play for two. <laughs> Actually, didn't we already do a rug cuddle in this room when you had like 5,000 rugs, which oh, this yeah. is not one of? I overbought, like just a little. I forgot these already came before. You guys ever wonder what the inside of Kate's brain looks like? <laughs> Something like that. Well, you're right. Wait, what happened to that rug that you were gonna use in here? I, excuse me, it's not that funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, the one I was going to use, I want to use out on the lanai. I so, like just the neutral because I want to do one of our colorful sofas here and then like some neutral chairs over there. But I wanted to do a house, oh wait, I need my phone because I need to write down our house rules, okay? Wait, what? No, because it's like, it's so cute. I've been seeing people do this and I want to do this in our house. It's like you make an artwork out of your house rules and it's almost kind of like, Mantra, reminders, like vibe. What if our rules were less stringent? Okay, it's more I'm just like, down. like if we were like <clears throat> grateful for our, each other or for the house or like, okay, like a okay. rule to be grateful all the time. Okay, I like it, be grateful. I wanna do like something like create every day. So it's not like 
take your shoes off. It's more like the house rules are like steps to... That is a house rule. What? Remove your shoes at the door, but we can have a little cute sign by the door instead. We could say like go barefoot outside is a good rule. Because you charge from the earth. I do this every morning with Moon. You're invited if you want to. But <laughs> usually Moon and I go charge on the grass, like get like the, just the energy from Mama Earth. Sleep a lot. Very important. Get some good rest. How about, okay. I got so, one. No, hydrate. Stop scrolling. I'm not scrolling, I'm writing down for artwork. But yes, that's a great one. Stop scrolling. I said hydrate. Move your body every day, move your body. Last one. Kiss. Mwah. Don't try to be perfect. Yeah, I cool. think that's a good one. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna create the artwork and then I'll meet you back in here tomorrow. <laughs> With a dry piece of art and lots of furniture in place. Should I bring in any of the furniture? Yeah, green, green sofa. Hi everyone, I wanted to quickly tell you about our little robot friend and our sponsor, Narwhal. If there's one thing we do as a family, it's make a mess. <laughs> the Narwhal Frio X Ultra is a game changer for a busy family. You may have seen robot vacuums before, but not this one. This thing vacuums and mops. Positioning. Please do not move the device. It uses AI technology to map your home and can even sense when certain areas are dirtier than others and ensures that everything gets cleaned up every time. It has the world's first zero tangling aerodynamics brush so you can easily vacuum up all that pet hair. It even adjusts its mop settings based on the humidity in your home and senses when it's on carpet and automatically lifts the mop heads higher to keep your carpets and rugs dry. It empties itself so the only thing you need to do is dump the dirty water and it self cleans the mop heads every time. This is all amazing, but let me tell you my favorite part of someone who has tried various robot vacuums before, the most annoying thing to me has always been how loud they were. This thing is so quiet so it can run any time of the day and it won't bug you. In fact, it might make you smile. Hi, little guy. Check out the Narwhal Frio X Ultra and other Narwhal products by using the link in the description. And thank you so much, Narwhal, for sponsoring today's episode. All right, guys. So we're gonna bring in probably what is our best-selling couch. The challenge of the space is, I mean, it's not small, but for like a family, for a living room um, with a small kid, it's not huge either, so we can't really fit anything like massive in here. This couch is like perfect for this type of situation. It's super easy to assemble, super soft and cozy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mr. Key test sofa. All right, so there's many reasons why I and a bunch of other people, probably a lot of you who are watching, really like this couch. One of the reasons is the material is just so great. It's got this really nice velvet touch. We shipped this to you in a box. So it comes in like eight pieces and literally anyone can assemble this so fast. The way we made this all go together, super simple. We just have these two catch ratchets on both sides and then we're just gonna slide in our back and it's pretty much done. The other thing that's so amazing about this sofa is how easy it is to clean. It's so resilient. And there you have it. Eight minutes later, a fully assembled couch Love this couch, perfect for this space. Welcome to Painting World. So I have a framed canvas from the thrift store. You can see it was like a print, but then they put like little texture marks on it. So I painted it out, took a couple coats to cover up. The plan is I'm gonna put the house rules that Joey and I came up with on here. I'm gonna use a pencil, pencil, to first like map out the text. And then I'm gonna go in and I think I wanna do kind of like a blue, like not exactly this blue, but kind of more like this blue. <laughs> I think the key with text art is mixing your fonts. Obviously I'm doing it by hand. I'm not doing any kind of stencils or anything like that. So it's gonna be imperfect, but I'm gonna mix cap for the house rules and then like either cursive or lowercase for the actual rules themselves. 
Okay, I'm gonna start with marker because marker is way easier to write text with, but I do want the paint texture, so I'm gonna write everything out in marker, and then I'm gonna go over it and paint. Create every day. Doesn't matter what you do, just do a little creating. I do have eight rules. Oh my gosh. I'm really glad that I double checked my list. Okay, six is going here. Oh my gosh. A happy accident just happened. Every single one of them has been one line except the last one and look which one it is. Don't try to be perfect. And I just love that it's kind of a commentary on the rule itself. Mm. I love happy accidents. Mixy mix. I'm gonna use this pointy brush, sort of like a calligraphy tip. So here's the trick with these cabinets. They work even on unlevel floors. Those little feet. These screw in and out. So that's how you get your cabinets to be level. And also if you have cabinets side by side, this is what you use to get them level. It's also okay. how you level your, your doors too. Yeah, so if you have one of these and you put it together and one of the doors just maybe has like the slightest bit of like, like that. gapping, then you fix it by adjusting the adjustable little feetsies. All right, so yesterday we did- We did a little- A social post about these, about how there's been this like study that they published about- Clutter and cortisol levels. Cortisol is the stress hormone. Mm -hmm and they have found the more cluttered your environment, like the more actual stuff piles around you, the higher your cortisol levels. Like this is actually like a scientific so, study. Scientific study, get some storage cabinets and lessen your stress level. To me, it makes total logical sense. We've helped so many people over the years find, you know, yeah. better peace in their spaces, just like overall mental wellness because of interior design, which is why I believe so strongly in it. Like it is more than just aesthetics. Yep. Storage cabinets can be super deep. <laughs> Show them the little Easter egg in the corner. Oh my gosh. So Moon brought in this fairy house. This was like the first thing he brought in of his toys that he wants in here, which I love because there's lots of fairies around. We welcome all the schmalls. <laughs> so we've got our Lunas. Obviously we're obsessed with these guys. We use them in our office, three of them in the parchment color. We use them in Kyle and Cena's house in the sky, blue color. Now we've got two of the black color here. That's all the colors. <laughs> mm -hmm. This fluted frosted glass, like Combined with like the storage, arches. With the arches, it's the... like architectural, but you see like a little hint of stuff. They're metal, you could put magnets on it if that's your vibe. So yeah, I think let's get the stools in, chairs, planty, <gasps> side tables, the moon nesting tables. It's a sad story, you guys. Let's bring them in. Yeah. Look how cute. Oh, cute, wait, right? house rule, so cute. So this is going like basically over our plug. Yeah, so centered on this wall. And then we've got this texture. I hope you guys Oh wait, where's this see. going? I feel like I just want this like on the floor. Just like a subtle, like artiste lean. Like, you know, like, like we're in process. Stream. There's artists that live here. You might remember when we made that piece out of clay, rolling pins, shaped it, a little joint compound in between, painted it white. And it's one of my favorite pieces ever. And it's so so easy to do, you guys should make one. These I'm are so with. cute. You guys, look at these small stools. The shapes, the colors, 
everything complements each other. So look at this art shape. What do we have over on the Lunas? An art shape. An art shape. I love bringing in the wood tones. I love that it has the black stools. It brings in the black metal from the light fixture. It brings in the black metal from the Lunas. It brings in the black metal from the moon nesting tables. Oh, hello, fluted glass. Fluted glass. It's like repetition Wait, well, tell of the elements. story. Tell the story because actually <sighs> this created that. Right? Like this was the jumping off point for the Luna cabinets, right? Well, yeah. And I'm so... And it's so cool because it's based off of our sun, moon. Here's the sad part, okay? These, the nesting tables and the coffee table, don't... What? <laughs> no, I was like, are you going to cry? <laughs> They're discontinued. You know what that means? That well, means... we're discontinuing them. They're not discontinued yet. We're still selling them, but we're... I know, we're still selling them, but that means, like, the ones that we have in inventory now, collector's item. Unless... Well, hang on, hang on. Unless people buy them? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if all of a sudden a bunch of people want them, we'll, we'll keep selling them, but... So anyone watching, if you're as in love with these as I am... <laughs> You can buy them and they might never, because they're collector's items, they might never exist anymore ever. Why is it called the moon? Phases nesting tables. The full moon can change depending on where this it was, nests. This was legit like one of the first pieces we designed when we launched our furniture line. So a uh, nesting table, you basically get two tables in one, right? You can, you know, style them like this, but here's why I love them so much. It basically is like a little, TV trick. When you're on the couch getting cute and cozy and you want a drink table, it's metal, but it's so lightweight to move around. Like I use this for Moon all the time. Like when I set him up on the couch with this little snack plate and whatever, like it's so versatile. We Let have... me ha show you explaining. The problem is that these, the Moon nesting products just haven't actually sold that well. I don't think we've really shown them off. And they're so inexpensive right now in all the retailers because we've discounted them so heavily. It's like, we'll put the links in the description below, but it's like on Amazon, you can get the nesting side tables for $44. Like that's crazy for a set of tables. This is like a, a campaign, a keep the moon tables this alive is a campaign. Keep the <laughs> It was gonna be a sad story and it's turned into a campaign. We share with you guys this process of like designing this stuff. You know it comes from our heart. You know we like really think about all these things and have so much hope for all of our pieces. I think you're right that it just, that we didn't like show them off well enough. Like they came out, we didn't. Okay, well show it off well. well I, I've been showing it off. Okay. Style this room, okay, make it look help, good. Help me, <laughs> my, please. Joey! <laughs> Plants add so much sculptural interest. The chairs and this coffee table. I know. Are not from our line. They're from Wayfair. Wayfair sent us this stuff for a, a special project we're doing with them that we'll tell you guys about in a future episode. Sneaky. We'll put, we'll put links in the description for all the Wayfair stuff. Yeah. Too. This is such a good size coffee table for us as a family because we love eating at the coffee table, doing crafts. It's this small, is a, but it looks big. Yeah. It's a petite open floor plan. Yeah. I think that's why something like a Deez, right? Because I don't want a chair here right. since we're going to be opening these so much. Right. Vintage dreams come true. Does it look old and worn? Yeah, because it is. I love mixing vintage rugs with new rugs. Like, look at this. New, crisp, old, has a story. And it fits so perfectly in this entry. And it's just this splash of color, maybe something like this. It's not something you really need in Hawaii, but sometimes it gets chilly. You know how your tape measure has this little thing? If you want, like I know I'm going for a measurement, you can actually just use this to just put a little mark on your wall. I don't know if you're actually supposed to do that, but I do it, it's kind of a cool trick. Solid marble. Just 
just, you know, a little reminder. Stop scrolling. House rule. Oh my gosh. The fairies need a little van, do you think? Wow, wow, wow. I am so happy with how this side now compliments our gorgeous kitchen. I mean, are you guys ready to see this before and after? Because this is crazy. <laughs> it looks so good. This is a story of texture, having colors that complement each other throughout the space, like the green. Remember Nancy and her sketch from the thrift store? And then I sort of did a little spin off of that with my green artwork for the kitchen. We have a green sofa! <laughs> Obviously we have the green sconces. We've got this black metal. Obviously some of the appliances have black on it. So just having this grounding area of the storage, bringing your eye up, carrying it over to the beams. And it feels airy, it feels inviting, it feels like there's places to sit and play, but it's not cramped. Having like the floor poof, obviously having our nice petite test sofa with the gorgeous wood legs, having some DIY artwork around, which I just love so much. I love how our house rules turned out, it's so cute. The one thing we don't have, Window treatments, if you guys are wondering, we're gonna kind of live with them open, but then we might do some like roller shades or blinds or something. It's just open to the gorgeous island surroundings right now, so I'm fine with that. So we've got our dining area here with our cute little stools. We've got lounge, play, snacks in the living room, and then stay tuned because we have the lanai and that's gonna be our dining outdoor living space. So. And we have the really cool thing we're doing in that room, and we also haven't shown what we did in there. And yeah, we've got. Or back around the corner. Either. There, there, there. So many spaces still to show. Exciting! It's so exciting! I Good love job. It. Um, also, reminder hashtag save the moon tables. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag thank you for listening to my sad story about one of my favorite pieces ever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying this living room transformation with us. Uh, subscribe for more fun decorating stuff and stay creative, stay weird, stay you, because we're not. I'm gonna try to figure out how to play this game. Okay. Oh, okay. Ready? <laughs>